Hello everyone! In this video, we are going over the nervous system structures we find in this model. Here we have L1, the first lumbar vertebra. So we have L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5. And these are the spinous processes, which means that this is the posterior aspect. And here we have the body, also named centrum, because it's closer to the center of our body, which means that this is anterior. Now, when we look at a single vertebra, we see a hole, and this hole is conveniently named vertebral foramen. When we line up all the vertebral foramen, we end up with a canal, and that canal is then called vertebral canal. Going through the vertebral canal, we have the spinal cord. When we look laterally, we see here we have one vertebra, here another vertebra, and in between two vertebra, we have a hole. And this hole is conveniently named inter, between intervertebral foramen. So a hole between two vertebrae. And passing through the intervertebral foramen, we have spinal nerves. So we have the spinal nerve that is emerging from the spinal cord. Now, look at this. This is the spinous process. The spinous process is always posterior because the spinous processes are the little bumps we feel in the middle of our back. If this is the spinous process and this is posterior, and we look right here, we have the spinal nerve branching, these two are ramus. Now, this ramus is closer to the spinous process side, so this must be the dorsal or posterior ramus, and consequently, this one that's closer to the body, which is always anterior, is the anterior or ventral ramus. And see here we have a little ball, which is a group of neuronal cell bodies outside of the central nervous system. This little ball is what we name dorsal root ganglion. Because a ganglion is a group of neuronal cell bodies outside of the central nervous system, which is exactly what we see right here. Now, what we are missing is all these spinal nerves that they emerge after the end of the spinal cord, and when we look at them, they look like the tail of a horse, and that's why this was named Coda Equina. That's all for this model. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!